Ain't it obvious? I just got the check for deposit it. 750 for the sound wave to get it processed. Won't stop to that shit. Weighing down my pockets. My main things to my main thing. She a blossom. When she eats the pain with the brain, she a doctor. She open up dinner thing thicker than the plot gets. Oh, the uh, giant one too, a daggum haul. Every bit of a pat. Nah, he's not a pat. Trying to get a little shad spawn this morning. Got the old buzzing bait going. Nothing too promising yet. I'm seeing a shad spawn, just not getting the bites we need. Keep covering water till that sun gets a little higher. Nice this morning though. It's like 65 degrees. Just saw some otters playing on the damn bank. <laughs> Nature. So fat, so small, divine, shitty worm. What's up, Mappers? Welcome to day number uh, four of practice here. We're out on the beautiful Lake Eufaula in Oklahoma for the fifth stop here of the, uh, the open schedule. Before we came here, I had heard that this lake is chock full of three to four pounders. Well, it has not been so far. It has been a brutal damn grind. Uh, first two days of practice, we filmed a decent amount. First day, Caught probably 14, 15 pounds, felt good about it. Second day, I was like, uh, what? I don't think I caught a keeper. Yesterday, um, it rained almost all day, so I didn't get any footage really, but I caught, I figured out a way to catch a ton of fish. I caught like 50 fish, but I think three keepers, maybe four. So, uh, yeah, the next two days we have today, all day, and then tomorrow until one o'clock to figure something out the fish just seem for whatever reason to not be moved out they aren't on some of the brush piles you think they would be on 
things are just weird here, but we're gonna just try to break it down. I'm kind of starting over today, fishing some new stuff, checking some of the same areas at a different time of the day, seeing if it's a timing deal, and hopefully these fish just carry on in their progressions of getting into their summer pattern and making a little bit more sense than they have so far. But it's the reason I always say it's a long practice, so we gotta take advantage of that. I fished like 14 hours yesterday, about killed myself freaking doing it. And uh, today we're probably gonna do something similar. Let's find some. Time for a better day. Oh, I caught a turtle. It's gonna be a good day, Cole, when you start like this. He ate it. No, he didn't. That's his butthole. <laughs> huh. Dude, look at his fucking claws. Are you serious? Dude, he's trying to kill me. I gotta get a picture of that for Osborne. That was my second cast of the day. It's okay, bud. I don't know why your claws are so long. Dude, I barely have him. Don't claw me, please. Jesus. <laughs> okay. We're off to a good start. Lake Eufaula. Number one turtle fishery, the number one white bass fishery in the entire world. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm putting something together, I'm putting something together. Got ourselves a shell cracker. Feeling good about this spot, tiny. Oh, hello everyone. Keeper. Good start to the day. Little gliding bait keeper. Two and a quarter. Be happy with five of these probably. Too long, half ounce weight. On him. Did he look big? Pretty sure he had that in his mouth for three weeks. Two and a half. There's a little drain right there. I think there's gill beds. It's just a depression, which is what we've really had most of this practice. Depression. That's why I stopped to fish it. Just seemed like it made sense, you know. Four of them down underneath that dock. I think it's a freaking big one. One ninety. That ain't good. Keep. 
peeper. Shook him off. That was on purpose. Yeah, go get it. A Seth. Did I lose my weight? Nope. Why is he fighting so hard like? Fat as hell, dude, no wonder. Thick little guy. Well, we're fishing a new area with docks. Docks seem to be the way to go, today anyway. I'm sure they're still on our, look how fat that fish is, god dang. I'm sure they're still on our timber flipping stuff we found the last couple days, but no sense in going and burning all that. So we're fishing some new stuff and I really like some, these pockets, they really don't look like much either. So I think they might get ignored a little bit. Seeing a lot of fish though. So I'm gonna start throwing some big baits, I think a little bit, mixing that in, see if we can get a bigger one to get drawn out. All right, if I make this jig into that hole up there, I'll we'll have to swim back to the boat launch. It's four miles away. Oh! I guess I'm driving. Oh! Does it count if I get it on the bank? No. This has to be in the... Weak. That was my worst one. Dude, that's pretty far away. Oh! I thought it was in! No! I think another problem. There's a cap on that one. Let's do this one. No, that one's going to cut your line. I don't care. Yay! First throw! Dude, let me go down. If you don't believe me, folks. I'm going to catch one. There. I'm trying to spend some time in practice getting on patterns no one else thought of. Nice gentleman gave us free ice. It's a good omen. He's gonna kick some ass in the tournament. Like last tournament, I gave like three people free ice, and I suck. Shit, so maybe he won't. I don't know. We'll see. Crushed it. Not even a keeper. Pissed off little spot. Fat spot. Not even a keeper. Jeez, that thing crushed it. It's a f***ing catfish. Gotta be.
should probably eat him, huh, Cole? I've had none of that this morning. Not a single follower I've seen. That was a good one. Not be a keeper even. This lake sucks! Well, that's a wrap on practice. It, uh, as you can see, we've been tying some stuff on. Starting the tournament tomorrow with 319 rods on the deck. And uh, I'm gonna probably eat some bugs while we go over this. But I'm gonna show you guys on the map what's going on with this lake and where I'm gonna kind of fish and focus my time. And really my process of how I'm thinking about this tournament is and how tough it has been and why I think that is. So I guess just to kind of start day one of practice, I thought it was gonna be pretty good. I mean, I fished some, some rock stuff, fished some, some timber, flip my little magic worm around, fish some offshore brush piles. It's like, oh, there's not fish on most stuff, but you can catch three pounders, boom, and get like 14, 15 pounds, no problem. And um, since then, it's just been bleak as hell. And I talk to people that have been fishing and there's everyone's saying it's tough, you know, you don't really know what you're gonna get, but they're at least like, yeah, we get, you know, you get like one or two, three or four pounders a day, but it doesn't make sense. And then it's a grind. Well, I haven't had those bites to be honest. And so um, that's got me nervous. I think it's because I haven't really stuck it out in a lot of areas where I know there's a lot of fish and a lot of bites. I mean, to catch a fish on a dock and see three more there, I'm not gonna pick them all off, but yeah, it has me a little bit uneasy. Um, don't want to have a terrible tournament here points wise obviously and it's got me thinking about that so i think i need to try to focus and clear my mind a little bit for tomorrow because it's going to be a long day we drew boat 160 or something like that and i got a co-angler mf by the way so first time i'll actually have like a, a fan on the boat with me so that's really cool but we're not doing it we start at six we're not doing until 4 15 and it's supposed to be like 93 degrees all day tomorrow so it's gonna be a hot one and it's gonna be a grinder. It's not supposed to blow any wind at all. I don't know if that's good or bad, honestly. The wind didn't seem to matter that much. It feels pretty damn good though when you're running around and it's not like it is now. But anyway, so let me hop on the mapping app on Navionics and kind of show you guys what we're looking at with Eufaula. So it's such a huge lake. It doesn't look that big, but it's 100,000 plus acres. And really it's, it's, deceiving because bass don't live or at least they don't live in big populations in probably the large majority of this lake. I've really focused a lot of my practice, I'll kind of draw a circle around it, in this lower dam area here, really the dam stuff in this area was no bueno, so it's almost just like this area, which obviously big major spawning creeks. Um, then some current areas like this, um, and then of course down here, this is called Longtown, I've caught keepers there. I haven't had any great days of practice. Uh, this area here is called the triangle because it's kind of shaped like a triangle. It's between two bridges. I know it's a, it's a popular local area. A lot of tournaments have been won out of there. Uh, and then just a little bit below that too. Besides that, I've ventured out a few times, checked some shallow water, muddy water stuff, and it hasn't been great. Also went up here, it's called Bell Star Marina. Flipped some docks, didn't like what I saw. Saw bass on like two of the docks out of like 30. Wasn't a fan of that. Basically what's going on right now, why this is so difficult I think and why it's such a grind is there's so much shad fry in the lake to go along with the shad and there's tons of white bass. So you scan offshore on a lot of the points uh, and stuff that these fish should be on. You know, you got all these beautiful points that come off the islands, you got channel points, you got these beautiful points with channels run against them. Um, you even got your main lake stuff like ledges. You got some beautiful ledges that kind of come into some of these major creeks. They got some current running against them. Fish will be there. They have been there. No problem. I, I guarantee it. They ain't there right now. Um, at least not what I've seen. I'm sure someone's found something. But what we have found is there's a lot of um, some, some shallower flat points, a lot like the Toledo tournament some main lake points and stuff where I've caught some fish, some keepers, and I kind of found some sneaky stuff actually flipping timber with the magic worm. So a lot of that's just standing timber at the mouths of some of these uh, and on points of some of these spawning creeks. So spending a lot of time doing that uh, and we'll end up doing that as well. And then on the shallow points, um, I'm, I'm pulling a Carolina rig and a swing head a lot too. Really, even though that there's all this bait in the water and it's just clouds of fry, it's not even like 
thread fins like you see in Texas and stuff. You've seen them on live scope in my videos where they're like one to two inches long. These are literally this big, clouds of them everywhere. And I think the bass just, they can eat whatever, whenever they want to. And it's really tough to get a bite. There's been big local tournaments too. Obviously we've been practicing for five days. It's just a grind, um, but I'm, I'm gonna spend a lot of time on some docks. I'm hopefully, I found a good flipping bite um, on some docks with some brush piles. I really tried to focus on those docks specifically. This is a lake that doesn't have a ton of docks on it. It has, I mean, hundreds, but not tens of thousands like Lake of the Ozarks you'll see here in a couple tournaments. So you're really able to fish around, see what ones, what areas are, are solid and which ones have brush. Um, again, not like Lake of the Ozarks where there's hundreds of thousands of brush piles on the lake. So really my approach is going to be simply to grind it out in areas where I've had bites. And I'm gonna to try to do it with some smaller presentations, some Ned rigs, some shaky heads, some drop shots. Of course, I am gonna drag the ball and chain. I'm gonna drag the, the swing head. And I'm also gonna go flip docks later on in the day. It seemed like the fish have been setting up in the late morning a lot better. It makes total sense. Sun's coming out, getting a little bit higher. So eight, 8.30, which will be pretty quick in the day actually. We'll start doing that. I'm probably gonna fish some bridges at some point throughout the day. These fish are just living in and around bridges because there's there's still those those clouds of fry, but there's more actual balls of shad that are kind of getting pushed up in the bridge areas. And there's current going through there, of course, too. So I'll probably end up fishing some bridges at some point. I might even start on a bridge. Like I said, we're boat one something. I don't know how small this is gonna fish. We're just gonna have to see, but um, that's you fall lake. I'm gonna kill the map right now. And um, I'm gonna check you guys in the morning. This one's got me nervous. I was just telling Elizabeth and Tater are out here. My mom, my Aunt Patty, Max is here, Ozzy's here. They all just rolled up and uh, Becky stayed home because- um, That's one thing we haven't really talked about in this tournament is that um, Becky's due any day now. So it's been sketchy being here uh, six hours from home, but we, we've got it figured out. She's not, she's not going quite yet. So hopefully we can get through this tournament get some good points out of it, maybe even get lucky and get one or two of those three or four pound bites a day to go along with our two pounders. And um, maybe you can get a check. Who knows? I'm not sure. I don't know if high hopes to, to win this or anything, but you're going to see a true grinder event. And um, it's going to be fun to take you guys along with me. Cole's going to be in the camera boat tomorrow. We're just going to get her launched. We're going to sweat our ass off and hopefully we can get a couple of those good bites to go along with some of those keepers. But Thanks for following along. This has been such a grind of a practice. Frustrating. I've worked my ass off to try to find what I found. Um, so I haven't done a great job of talking and taking you through that. Hopefully you guys kind of saw an, an idea of what uh, what's going on if you follow. But thanks for watching this in Mefridge. We're going to try to get a couple hours of sleep. Catch you guys in about six hours on the next video. I'm out of here.